Never thought I'd live in Laguna Woods Never thought of moving into the old folks' hood My friends all laughed, told me it'd be a bummer But now I'm living in an endless summer Yeah, these are the tales from Laguna Woods I'm telling tales from Laguna Woods Yeah, life in Laguna Woods I'm telling tales from Laguna Woods Thanks for agreeing to meet with me. Sure, have a seat. You know, you seem so distressed over the phone. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. You know, I care about you as a client and a friend. Thank you, I appreciate it, Lauren. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. It's Morgana that's the problem. Morgana? Why would she be the problem? Oh, ha! <laughs> What am I thinking? Okay, she hasn't violated your contract now, has she? No, 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 that's not it at all. Um, oh, I guess you haven't heard what's going on. Mm. Rick got the gig at the Legacy. Morgana didn't get it. Oh. No. Morgana was counting on that gig to uh, help her get back on her feet, make her feel good about herself again. Now, she's gonna blame me because I was the one who told Rick about the audition. Rick's got the gig, and now I'm going to be his accompanist. Oh, Nelson, wow. But, you know, I don't think she's going to blame you. Well, I think she's going to blame me because I was the one who introduced Rick to you. Huh. However, knowing Morgana, she will probably blame both of us. So we better sit here and figure out how we're going to mitigate this disaster before she finds out that she wasn't hired. Well, I suppose I could ask Rick if he could use a backup singer. They could split the earnings that way. Rick doesn't need the money. I don't really need it either. Um, that might work for them. Hmm. Backup singer. Hmm. Maybe, but knowing Morgana? You know, she's going to expect to be center stage. Well, if we offer it to her, I think she'll take it. She'll be singing in front of a live audience, getting paid for it. I tell you what, I'll talk to Rick. If he knows just how badly she needs the money, I bet he'll agree to what I'm saying. I think that that might work. I sure hope it does. Because I don't know about you, I don't have the strength to deal with Hurricane Morgana. Hello, Jackie's Gourmet Home Cooking. How may I help you? This is Graydon, Special FBI Agent Joan Radford here. Do you have a few moments for me? Uh, is, is everything all right? Oh, Marshall hasn't gotten any more trouble, has he? I knew I should be keeping co closer tabs on him and the horror from gate four. No, nothing like that. However, I know that you're friends with Lauren Bennett. And I just needed you What's to- What's happened to Lauren? No, no, Ms. Bennett is just fine. This is not about her. This is for her. I need you to convey a message to her for me. Why can't you tell her yourself? Trust me. It's better if I'm not officially involved in this conversation. But you're calling me. Doesn't that make you officially involved? No, actually, it does not. <sighs> All right, what do you need me to do? Tell Lauren to tell her client, Sylvia Edelman, in no uncertain terms that she must not 
go to this Thursday's Mahjong game. I don't understand. What does Mahjong have to do with Lauren? Why shouldn't her client go to the game? The less you know, the better, Mrs. Brayton. Well, how is she going to convince this Sylvia not to go? From what I've heard, Sylvia is pretty hard-headed and a voracious player. I hear she never misses her Thursday Mahjong game. Never. Just tell Lauren that she will find in her mailbox two tickets to the grand opening of the First Lady's costume exhibit at the Looking at Beach Museum for Thursday, starting at 1 p.m. Since Lauren always has clients at that time, she is to offer Mrs. Edelman the tickets on the proviso that she take Lauren's neighbor, Alice Lynington, to the opening with her. We know that Sylvia has tried to get those tickets, but was unable to, as they were sold out. Ooh, those are prime tickets. Hmm. And they've been sold out for months. Okay, uh, I'll tell Lauren, but quick question. You wouldn't possibly have any extra tickets for the exhibit, would you? Bobby, please come here. I need you to give me a hand with Teddy. One of my clients is trying to get a hold of me. I absolutely have to take this call, but Teddy needs to go out now. He could, he could barely hold his knees together, poor boy. Oh. Sorry, Morgana, I have no time. I I'm on my way out the door. Really? Where are you going? Well, and why on earth are you going out in public dressed like that? Well, I have found my mojo, and it's Zumba. You found your mojo, and it's Zumba? <laughs> when did you start doing Zumba? Well, during the pandemic, I, I finally felt like I needed to do, so do something of my own. So I heard about these Zumba classes that were being held in the back patio of Clubhouse 2. So I started going. So you started to go to Zumba. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Well, it wasn't easy at first, but I really wanted to make it work. So I decided if I didn't talk about it and I didn't complain, that I, that I would feel good about it. And I was right. Well, I'm glad you found your thing, but I'm not the least bit interested in Zumba. I went to Zumba once. It was idiotic. I'm gonna stick to walking, thanks. You should try it. I mean, she uses all kinds of music, from rumbas to sambas to hip hop, and even disco. <laughs> okay, you know, next time you go to class, I'll come and maybe I'll reconsider. Maybe, but the big question is, come on, how? Did you sneak out of the house without me seeing you? Well, I figured that you would all think I was writing my book. So I snuck out through the sliding door and went to Zumba class. I figured, you know, I'm only going to be gone for like an hour and a half. They'll never miss me. And I was right. And then I came back and I was so enthusiastic about writing in my book. It, it's been the best thing I could have done. Well, I'm very glad you found your thing. Just don't try to make it mine. Sylvia, it's Lauren. Lauren, my gorgeous detective, how are you doing? I saw a picture of you, such a face. Who would have, who would have thought such a hardworking detective and a lawyer too? But where were you when my son was looking? Eh, his wife, my daughter-in-law? Oh, I can't complain. But a lawyer, that would have been icing on the cake. Well, thanks, Sylvia. But I'm sure your daughter-in-law is just right for your son. Anyway, I have a favor to ask, and I know it might be a problem, but I really hope you'll consider it. 
Darling, for you, I'll do anything. Thank you, Sylvia. You know, I need you to take my neighbor, Alice Linington, to the Laguna Beach Museum exhibit of the First Lady's costumes. I promised her I'd take her, but I have back-to-back clients that day and I can't do it. Not a problem. I'm happy to help and I'm thrilled to go. Thank you. So the drawback is that the tickets are for this coming Thursday at 1 p.m. And I know that's the day you play Mahjong. Ah, Lauren, that's a toughie. I never miss my Mahjong game. Never, not for anything. Well, I know, but did I tell you that this is the grand opening of the exhibit? And there's going to be a lot of celebrities there, maybe even George Clooney. Darling, I'll be there with bells on my toes. So, Esteban, what's new? How's life? How's the wife? Morgana, querida, mi amor, who told you such a thing? Well, yes, I have a wife, sure, but it doesn't mean I'm dead. We live our own lives. She doesn't need me. I even think she wants a divorce. And you, you are perfection and I just can't stay away from you. I miss you every minute. I want to spend my life with you. I know you want the same. Oh, Esteban, (laughs) cut the crap. How many women in the one tens are you romancing right now? Morgana. You are the only one for me. You mean everything to me. That's why I've been so patient with you, longing for you, waiting for you to be ready for us to make love. Don't make me wait until our wedding night. Come to me now, mi amor. Come, let us finally make love. (laughs) Where? In the garden shed? Sorry, man, you've been busted. I know all about Sherry and Sandy, and I'm sure there are a whole bunch of others. And guess what? They now know about each other, and now they both know about me. And you know what else? (laughs) I may live in the upper crusty, ritzy area of the woods, but I don't own a thing, nothing. I'm renting a room from an old friend, mi amor. You wasted your time barking up this tree. What the hell have you done? I was so close to scoring with a couple of those broads. We were making wedding plans. Man, I am losing my touch. I should have been able to spot you as a poser from the start, letting me think you had bucks because you live up in the ritzy area. (laughs) What happened to the accent? Is Esteban even your real name? As a matter of fact, it is. My parents liked some Cuban Baroque composer named Esteban Salas and named me after him. But we're not Cuban. Hell, we're not even Latino, and I don't have a musical bone in my body. Plants, I'm good with plants. And women, I'm good with women too. Well, you were until now, that is. Well, as long as she's not here to hear, I can tell you guys, as a dance instructor, Eunice is impossible. My mother, impossible? I could have told you that, but nobody here that listens to me. I thought she was only that way with you. I mean, growing up as kids, she was always the fun mom, the one with the cute accent. And she talked like the Beatles. Uh, That's what everybody thinks until she goes into her I'm in command mode, and then she treats everyone like that. Yes, as much as it pains me, I have to agree with Morgana on this point. You know, one moment she's the Hun mom, and then the next moment she's the commander of all she surveys. Hmm. Okay, what was so bad about the dance lessons? <laughs> there was no let ups in her demands. I mean, she bullied us around the dance floor, and then she hit Andy on the wrist, and that was it for him. He quit. Now I'm in a dance contest with no partner. What are you going to do? Well, so far I'm still in. I do like ballroom, but, you know, I really need a partner if I'm going to be in the contest. So, 
And, and I will need, also need a new coach now that Eunice has run off on her grand adventure with Clay. Mm -hmm. well, Jackie, you were going to fire Mom as your coach before she ran away from home with Clay anyway, weren't you? Oh, that's true. But now I don't have to insult Eunice that way. Anybody got a good idea of who I can get for a partner? How about Esteban? I'm sure he's a great dancer. Wow! <laughs> Forget yeah. Esteban. I have. He's history. You must know somebody in the ballroom dance club. Or there's got to be some nice dancing boy here in the village. Well, I'll keep looking. Preferably be some man that I know. But, <laughs> you know, everybody keep your eyes open, okay? It's a shame after all the work I put into it that I might have to drop out of the contest. Oh, Jackie, but you can Aww. always join me in Zumba. I mean, we do all kinds of dancing to all kinds of music, and I know you're going to love it. <laughs> you should see some of her moves. Classic. I never knew Bobby could shake her booty like that. Way to go, sis. Hello, Lauren Bennett here. Lauren, darling, you saved my life. If you hadn't asked me to take Alice to the opening, oh, by the way, she is a lovely person. Anyway, if we hadn't gone to that opening of that gorgeous exhibit, I'd be calling you from jail. Jail? Why? What happened? And incidentally, George Clooney wasn't there. Turns out his kids were sick and couldn't get away. Ben Affleck was there. But how can I respect him after the way he treated Jennifer? What a bum. <laughs> Sylvia, what happened? Well, you know I wasn't there. I was with Alice. So they were playing three-handed mahjong. You really need to learn how to play. Someday. Anyway, it turned out that my mahjong game was a cover-up for Henrietta and the other two in a money laundering scheme. They were working with one of the gardeners. I think his name was Esteban. Esteban, are you sure? Oh, yeah, he's quite the Romeo. I've seen him with so many women around the village. He only goes after with the ladies, the ladies with money. That's certainly not Henrietta and the other two. But lately, they've been showing up with new clothes. I can tell. I used to be in the schmatka business. Well, who arrested him? I mean, it couldn't have been security because they don't have the authority. Was it the sheriff? Oh, no, it was the FBI. Now, Lauren, honey, don't get me wrong but I'm a little hurt. On one hand, I'm glad I wasn't involved. But on the other hand, why didn't they ask me to join them? Action. Okay, action. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. There's no, no sound. Okay. Teddy, Teddy, Ted. I gave him too big a piece. Teddy, Teddy, I gave him too much. Yeah. Such a prima donna. Come here, Teddy. 